All right, we're going to do one more example with plotting a polar curve um, straight from the polar equation. Okay? And so in the textbook, again, they're going through plotting this by just plotting points, right? Plugging in the standard values as we go around the unit circle and essentially connecting the dots. And you know, so the, the textbook, I think, does a nice thing. They, they connect the dots. They connect them with straight lines. That gives you something that isn't quite right, but then you can smooth things out. We're going to try to do both steps at the same time. Okay? So r is equal to cos 2 theta. Okay? Now, we know that cosine is always between minus 1 and, and 1. So one of the things that we might do is just kind of give ourselves a reference circle here. Okay, so there's, there's r equals 1. Okay, there's the unit circle, r equals 1. Okay, and we're going to go around the circle. We're going we're to mark off those points, you know, on pi over 6, right? Here's pi over 4. These are probably not perfectly accurate. I'm bad at eyeballing angles. Most people are bad at eyeballing angles. 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 6, right? Here's pi, here's 7 pi over 6, 5 pi over 4, right? Um, here is going to be uh, 4 pi over 3, 3 pi over 2, 5 pi over 3, 7 pi over 4, 11, oops, 11 pi over 6, and back to 2 pi, right? Um, but we're not necessarily going to plot every single point because it's really tedious. But let's start. So at 0, cosine of 0 is 0, so we know we're going to start there, okay? Pi over 6, okay? So what's interesting here, pi over 6, we're doubling things. So actually at pi over 6, we get cosine of 2 times pi over 6, which is pi over 3, which is a half. So I'm already only halfway, right? Okay. And then pi over 4, right, cosine at 2 times pi over 4 is pi over 2. So I'm actually, when I get to here, I'm actually already at 0, okay? I'm going to draw this in, just you'll see why in a bit, okay? So I'm at 0, okay? Now, what happens if I keep going? So if I go to pi over 3, well, two times, I'm actually at 2 pi over 3 for the argument of cos. That's negative. That's minus a half. Okay? So at pi over 3, I should be going up here. But I actually go down here. And I go halfway to 4 pi over 3. Okay? I go there. All right? And then I get to, um, oh, sorry. Why did I put pi over 3 there? That's pi over 2. Been a long day. There we are. Okay, uh, and then that's of course cos pi. That puts me down. So I'm I'm up here, but my r value is minus one, which puts me down here. Right. Um, so now I'm at pi over two. Next up is two pi over three, but I double. So I'm I'm pointing this way, but my r value is still negative because I'm actually at four pi over three when I double it. Okay. So it's two, minus a half. So I'm pointing this way, but I go out back minus a half. So I'm here. Okay? All right. Um, and then 3 pi over 4. I'm actually back to here, right? So at 3 pi over 4, I'm back at the origin. Okay? And then I'm going to keep going. I'm going to do 5 pi over 6, okay? Which is actually going to be uh, 5 pi over 3 which is there, right? But um, actually, I'm pointing in the right direction now. I go halfway because cosine is positive over here. So I'm there, right? And then 2 pi, I'm here. And so with a bit of, you know, you can probably kind of get the idea. And what we, we start to do once we've done a bit of this is we say, okay, we're going to connect the dots and we're going to try to do this smoothly. So we know that we should sort of be coming in towards there. We're starting here. We go up. through that point, okay, down to there, 
So we have that. And then we're going to come down and remember this was the point we got next. So we actually come down to that. We go down to there. Out to there. And then this was our next point. And then we return to the origin. And then we said our next point was over here. Okay? And then there. And if you keep going, the next one's going to be here. You go through that. Okay? And then back to the origin. Okay? And then finally, you end up going here, going up, around, through, down, and you complete it over there. Okay? So you get something like that. And again, with some, and now those should all look the same. I know my, my drawing's not great, right? Um, all these should be kind of the same, right? We get this sort of four-leaf clover shape from this. So again, with a bit of practice, you kind of, you get the feel for, oh yeah, uh, once you've done something like this a few times, you kind of get, you know, you're going to go, yeah, doop, 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 doop around, and you, you can kind of almost do it in just one continuous pen movement. You can get the whole thing all in one go, um, but it takes some practice.